I'm going to review how to do scheduling and how to update the schedule wizards in Greenway. So we do all our scheduling with these schedule wizards. I'm going to show you how to create them. So you click over here on schedule wizard. You have obviously our, our list of templates over here, but from time to time you may have to create or recreate a template. Um, so if you choose a template, and you pull it into the, the queue over here. If by mistake someone hits X over here, it gets rid of the template, and this happens invariably. So when we pull up the template, we have location, appointment category, and appointment type. Location is basically our offices. For all intents and purposes, when scheduling in Greenway, you're going to use our, our current active offices. So for example, Galloway. Appointment category. We have appointments and procedures. Procedures include ultrasounds, surgery, uh, in-office surgery, as well as uh, nursing room procedures. So for example, we'll choose appointments. Appointment type. For all intents and purposes, you're going to use established. Some of these others are, are deprecated and can probably be removed. For the established, you're generally going to use providers. Extenders includes our, our physician's assistants, however, they're also in providers. Um, any means it's going to choose any of these providers. Never choose all. All would mean that it, it basically chooses, um, it would have to, all those providers would have to be in the office in a given day and it will never find an appointment. So for purposes of, of this, let's say we're going to want Dr. Piskin or Dr. Lairfeld, and we're going to click any. Okay, and this is a fairly simple template. You're not going to alter really any of these. We'll, we'll go over what, what these are when, when we get there. So we'll, we will call this test Dr. Piskin or Dr. Lairfeld, and then we save it. Okay, so we just created a test template that's going to basically find any appointment with Dr. Leierfeld or Dr. Piskin. Let's do something a little bit more complicated. We're going to go back to the schedule wizard And again, if, if you wanted to be more than one office, if you wanted to search more than one office, you can, you can certainly search several offices. For purposes of this example, let's do Manahawkin, Sewell, or Summers Point. Appointment category, we're going to choose procedures. Appointment type, we'll go ahead. So some of the options include essentially cystoscopy, procedure or combo ultrasound. For this example, we're going to choose combo ultrasound. So notice that there are now three resource categories here. Again, for all intents and purposes, you could always ignore the extenders. But we are, for this example, we're going to call it, no, we're going to see Dr. Leierfeld, Piskin, Schutz. We're going to choose all the doctors. And we'll, we'll just keep it to those. Actually, let, let's just keep it to four for to make this three, make this a little bit simpler. Any of these doctors. And we're going to want a combo ultrasound. And in this case, again, it could be any of these ultrasounds. Um, for example, if the patient goes to Manahawken, um, they will have the ultrasound at Manahawken followed by um, an appointment at Manahawken. Same thing for the other offices. And we're going to click any there. In this case, we need to go to times. Now, if you look at times, we have the different resources, the different providers, as well as the different ultrasounds. Now, you can see there's it's offset and duration. Offset is how much after the, the scheduled time the, the patient will see that, that, their, um, that uh, resource. 
duration is how long they will see that resource. So everything is defaulted to zero for offset and 15 for duration. So that's a problem because we don't want the patient to have an ultrasound and see the provider at the same time in general. So we're going to change the providers to be seen at 15 minutes offset. And we're going to change all of them, all the providers, the Piskin and Dr. Schutz, 15 minutes. Okay. In this case, we're going to leave the ultrasounds as zero. So basically, at the zero moment that the, the appointment is scheduled, let's say it schedules an appointment at 9, the patient will have a 9 o'clock ultrasound followed by an appointment with the provider. Um, the uh, duration, basically, we, you always want to leave it at 15 unless there's some sort of new appointment type that requires longer with a given resource. Okay, and then we're going to name this star, 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 testing, ultrasound, test. So when we run this resource, we pull it into the buffer and we're going to click over here. It's going to search for all those various resource types. So for example, on Friday, Dr. Piskin has two openings. Um, a few days later, Dr. Lairfeld has openings and, and so on and so forth. What this will do is this will schedule as we have previously indicated. It will schedule 15 minutes with the ultrasound followed by 15 minutes with the, the other resource, Dr. Piskin. Same thing over here, same thing over here. And as you go down, if, if we clicked one of these, it will make both appointments for you and it will show up um, in the schedule. What else can we do? Well, as I mentioned, there's also procedure appointments. Um, just as, and, and we have a lot of testing appointments. So for those appointments, for example, we do a 45-minute testing in Manahawkin. Let's pull that in and take a look at what that looks like. So in this case, we chose Manahawkin. This is a procedure. Procedure is a category. The appointments for that, you're always going to choose testing because in this case, you're, you're not actually going to see um, a provider other than testing. And in this case, we chose Procedure Manahawken. Provider is going to be Provider's Testing. And then under Times, if you look carefully, Procedure Manahawken, offset is zero, because that's when the actual appointment is scheduled. The duration is 45 minutes. The testing we just leave as an offset of zero. This, this just marks the patient as a testing appointment. And you can see for many of these different appointment types, um, for example, let's look at Galloway, 15 minute ultrasound followed by 15 minute procedure. So in this case, the location is Galloway, the appointment is procedures. Again, anything other than an established, uh, established appointment is going to be a procedure. Let me pull that back in. The appointment type is testing appointment, as many of these procedures are. For the resource categories, we chose any of these. Basically, either the small procedure nurse or the procedure room can do um, this testing. For the provider, again, we're going to choose testing Galloway. For the ultrasound, it's going to be only one option, ultrasound Galloway. It automatically knows what resources go to each location. Under timing, we have nursing small procedures, procedures, testing. These are the various resources that are in there. 
Note that not all of them are going to be resources that see the patient. For example, um, it, the patient will see any of the nursing small procedures or the procedure Galloway. They will always see the testing Galloway and they will always see the ultrasound Galloway. So in this case, we want the patient to have 15 minutes of the ultrasound followed by 15 minutes of one of the testings. So if we go through each one, so the ultrasound is going to have zero offset with a 15 minute duration. Then it will have one of the two, possibly soon to be one, testing, uh, procedure testing resources, nursing testing resources. Um, nursing small procedure, this will be 15 minutes later, so this is a 15 minute offset. Same thing over here, it will choose one of these. And then the testing is really just a mark of what goes on the doctor's schedule to sign, so that we can leave the offset as it is. Other types of templates that we can create include cystoscopy. Cystoscopy, for example, is another type of procedure. In this case, we have this set up such that it, it, this one is in Summers Point. Procedure, awake cystoscopies, any of the providers. Same thing for the one in Voorhees. Same for all of these. Let's say we wanted to make an awake cystoscopy appointment for any location that we perform cystoscopy at. So we're going to choose currently all six offices, procedure, awake cystoscopy. And in this case, we're going to choose all resources and we can find various appointments that way. Technically, right now, the cystoscopy appointments in um, our away offices, this is a little bit more advanced, in our away offices work a little bit differently in that they currently schedule for both a provider for 15 minutes as well as a nurse for 45 minutes. Um, so for example, in Manahawken, it's Manahawken Procedures Awake Cystoscopy. Procedure is going to be Manahawken Nurse, and any of the providers are listed. So if you go through each one of these, the offset is 15 minutes. Except for Procedures Manahawken, the offset is zero, but the duration is 45 minutes. When you schedule this type of appointment, what it will do is it will schedule 45 minutes for the nurse at time zero and it will schedule 15 minutes for the provider at time 15. This will give the nurse enough time to, pre to prepare the, the, the patient as well as to clean up after the procedure. So this appointment, the cystoscopy in our away offices works a little bit differently than the one in Summers Point. And that is how you make various templates. There's all sorts of different combinations that you could make. You could make one, for example, that was a procedure that, that uh, had an ultrasound followed by a procedure room followed by a doctor if you wanted to.